Hi, I'm Steve Kennedy from Dark Art Astronomy, and this is my Marathon to Messier. Let's get started right now. Charles Messier was a French astronomer born June 26, 1730, and is famous for publishing an astronomical catalog consisting of 110 nebula, star clusters, and galaxies, which came to be known as the Messier objects. They're typically referred to with just the letter M and their numerical number between 1 and 110. Over the years, I have imaged a lot of these, including M1, the Crab Nebula, a supernova remnant, M3, a globular cluster, M8, the Lagoon Nebula, M13, another globular cluster, M16, the Eagle Nebula, M20, the Trifid Nebula, M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, M42 with the Orion Nebula, and another one featuring both the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula. M45, the Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters. M51A and B, which is the Whirlpool Galaxy. And here you can see two colliding galaxies, which are interacting. M78, Casper the Friendly Ghost Nebula, and M101, another galaxy. During a recent trip to Paris, France, I set out on a marathon to find the famous Messier tomb at a cemetery not too far from Paris. But along the way, I did a lot of other fun things. For example, I visited the Louvre, which is a famous museum, the Museum d'Orsay, which shows the uh, some of the famous Impressionist paintings like those of Vincent van Gogh. I visited the bar Hemingway, which American author Ernest Hemingway made famous. And I got engaged along the way at the Cafe Jules Verne at the top of the Eiffel Tower. and did a lot of other fun things, such as visit the Sky Bar. As part of my Marathon to Messier's tomb, I discovered that there are a lot of famous people buried in various cemeteries in Paris, France. Like Eugene Ionesco and Samuel Beckett buried, along with uh, philosophers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvier. An American author, Susan Sontag, is even buried there along with very other famous people. There are hundreds of graves in that cemetery, probably with many other famous people, but not Charles Messier. I was in the wrong cemetery. So we'll have to wait until part two to determine if my marathon to Messier was successful.